Hello friends, this video on applications of biotechnology part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next uh, application of biotechnology in medical field is gene therapy. So as I was telling that it can be useful, this genetic engineering can prove to be helpful in treating several diseases. So experimental methods to treat or prevent a genetic disorder using genes. So we can treat a genetic disorder or we can prevent it as well. Now what is a genetic disorder? Uh, any disease or any disorder which is due to some defect in the gene. Now this type of genetic disorder if detected at an early stage can be treated using gene, gene therapy. Now let us suppose it, it might happen sometimes now the entire process of reproduction now you all know the role of genes in the process of reproduction now this in this entire process of reproduction mistakes can happen errors can happen you have seen that during replication of dna when dna makes multiple copies of itself so which enzyme plays the most important role it is dna polymerase and dna polymerase is prone to errors errors can happen while making copies and that is why mutations happen that is why defects happen now due to these kind of errors sometimes it might happen that in an embryo uh, there is some gene which is extremely important but that gene is missing so in that case what will happen if when the child is born the child will be suffering from some genetic disorder or some disease so these type of uh, disorders or defects which are present in a person due to defect in the genes they are termed as genetic disorder now these kind of disorders can be treated or we can even prevent this kind of disorder using gene therapy. So let us see what do we exactly do here. Now here uh, in simple words a functional gene is inserted into an individual cell to compensate for the non-functional gene. Now if somebody is suffering from a genetic disorder that itself means that there is a non-functional gene. Either a gene is not functioning or a gene is absent. So some problem is there with a particular gene. So we need a functional gene, a normal gene. So what do we do? We take a normal gene, we extract it from somewhere else and we insert it into that individual so that this inserted gene can take up the role of the non-functional gene. So now it, it is like you do not have something and you just replace it with something which is working and fine. So that means you can treat the genetic disorder. Now this kind of treatment is possible only when the problem is detected at a very early stage. For example, when the, a baby is not even born, when it is still inside the mother's womb, if that time only it is detected that okay, there is some genetic disorder, then it might be uh, cured completely using these type of gene therapies. So we will take some examples and we will see more clearly how exactly gene therapy works. Now we all know when we say there is a functional gene and there is a non-functional gene. Now how does it matter if uh, the gene is different or if the gene or the, the, the way the DNA was copied underwent some error. Now if this is your functional gene then how does this gene impact you? This gene decides the type of proteins which will get synthesized. So if this particular gene synthesizes the right protein and if the right protein is there, this, if you have a defective gene or if you have a non-functional gene in the sense if there are some difference between on this gene as compared to this one, then the type of protein which this will synthesize might be this. And if you, if you see, if you compare these two proteins, there are a lot of differences between the two. Now when a different protein get synthesized all together so what will happen the gene expression will change because whatever we are is because of the proteins which are being synthesized inside our body for example our eye color is say black is because of the protein which has been synthesized for eye color is is like that somebody who has a brown eye color is because the protein which has been synthesized depending upon the gene which was present for his eye color that was different than the one who has black eyes. So every trait which is there in our body is because of the type of protein which was synthesized corresponding to that particular gene. 
So when there are differences in the gene, then the type of protein which will get synthesized will also be different. So that is how a functional gene and a non-functional gene or a defective gene vary. I mean that is how they can make, they, they can create differences in different individuals. So now how exactly is gene therapy done? So the first clinical gene therapy was done on a four year old girl in the year 1990. So if you see it's not very old. So a lot of development is taking place in genetics even now because there is a lot of scope. So a lot of things can be done. A lot of improvements can be done in the medical field using genetics. So the first therapy was done on this four year old girl. So what was her problem? She was suffering from a disease called ADA deficiency. So ADA is adenosine deaminase. That is the full form of ADA, adenosine deaminase. So what is this ADA? So with the name you can understand since it has ASE, so it is an enzyme. So why do we need this enzyme? First let us try to understand the significance of ADA. Only then you will know what can happen if there is a deficiency of ADA. Now, why the deficiency of ADA takes place? This is because the gene which is responsible for production of ADA is deleted. So there has to, whatever is taking place inside our body, there has to be a gene corresponding to that. Now, since the gene which is responsible for production of ADA, that gene itself is not there. So the gene is not instructing uh, any proteins to be synthesized. So there are no proteins which are being synthesized for ADA. Therefore, ADA is not there. So now there is a gene missing. So that is the cause of this deficiency. So that, that is clear now. So using gene therapy, we can replace that particular gene. Okay. Now why do, I mean, what will happen if there is deficiency of ADA? How important is this? So let's see the importance of ADA. It helps in the functioning of the immune system and you can understand how significant is immune system. Because immune system is like the shoulder of our body. It protects our body from small infections to big infections. So immune system really has to be strong because if the immune system is very weak then even a small virus can actually become too fatal and can kill the person. In fact, if you look at this deadly disease AIDS, what happens in AIDS? The immune system itself is attacked. Now, since the immune system system is attacked, so over a period of time, it so happens that the immune system becomes so weak that it is not that the body becomes extremely prone to any kind of infection and that infection becomes fatal and the person dies. So keeping having a strong immune system is very much important. Now, if there is ADA deficiency, then the immune system becomes weak and if the immune system is weak, the person will eventually die. So, th this shows that ADA deficiency is something which can be extremely deadly. So, we, we, should, we will have to find out ways to treat it. So, how can we treat it? By replacing the gene, I mean by having a gene which is responsible for production of ADA. So let us see how exactly was this gene therapy done. Now before we talk about this gene therapy, are there any other ways which can cure this problem, which can cure this deficiency? Are, what are the different ways other than gene therapy? So that we should be able to understand why gene therapy is so important. So let us look at the various treatment approaches towards ADA deficiency. So one approach is bone marrow transplantation. So one of the treatment approaches towards ADA deficiency is bone marrow transplantation. That is replacing the bone marrow. Now what is bone marrow? Even before we talk about the process, what is bone marrow? So bone marrow is the tissue inside the bone where uh, the stem cells are present. So the stem cells happen to be present inside the tissue which is present inside the bone. So that tissue is called bone marrow. So one option is that the bone marrow, the damaged bone marrow gets replaced with healthy bone marrow tissue, stem cells. But in this case what will happen temporarily some of the 
damaged bone marrow or some of the damaged stem cells will get replaced but this will not be a permanent solution because still you have a defective gene or still you have a gene missing therefore your ADA is not getting produced so that so over some period of time again the problem will be the same so this is not going to be a permanent cure there is another approach that is enzyme replacement therapy. So here what do we do is we replace the enzyme. So the functional ADA is injected into the patient's body. So this entire disease is caused due to deficiency of this enzyme ADA. So what do we do? We directly inject ADA into the patient's body to fill up that deficiency. But in this case also what happens is even though we do that but that is not going to be permanent for some time okay the, your body will get that enzyme but then the enzyme will get used up yeah, in helping the immune system do its job so again there will be deficiency now it is extremely complex as well as expensive to, to keep on repeating these processes over and again so bone marrow transplantation as well as enzyme replacement therapy they are not permanent cure now if we are looking towards a permanent cure then that should happen at the genetic level now for anything for any disease if you want a permanent cure you will have to give a solution to the cause of the disease so here what is the cause of the disease the cause is the missing gene for production of ADA so only if we treat it at a genetic level the, there can be a permanent cure to ADA deficiency and that is where comes the gene therapy so gene therapy will actually try to replace the gene so that it becomes a permanent cure over a period of time so let us see how can gene therapy cure ADA deficiency so here lymphocytes from patient's blood are extracted. So a sample of blood is taken from the patient and then the lymphocytes from that blood are extracted. So what are lymphocytes? So lymphocytes are, they also play a very important role in the immune system. So we have spoken about all these different parts uh, when we discussed the circulatory system and the lymphatic system. So these lymphocytes are taken out. Now in these lymphocytes, they are the cells. Inside those cells, you will have the genes, you will have the DNAs. Now lymphocytes are grown in culture outside the body. So here you can see these are the lymphocytes. So they are taken out from the body. Then they are grown outside in a culture. Now functional ADA is introduced into the lymphocytes. So now functional ADA will be introduced here. So how do we introduce functional ADA? So if you look at the picture here. So here you see this is a virus which, you, which is used as a vector. So for any recombinant DNA technology you need a vector. You need a gene of interest. So here, so here you can see the vector. The vector is a virus here. So this virus has the gene that a gene of interest so here you see a recombinant dna is being formed so this gene of interest is in introduced into the lymphocytes and that is where you see the gene of interest has been passed on into the lymphocytes and what is this gene this is the gene which is responsible for the production of functional ada right so the same concept of recombinant DNA technologies by using recombinant DNA technology functional ADA is introduced into the lymphocytes using a vector. Now what will happen and then these lymphocytes are transferred back into the patient's blood. So now inside the patient's body, inside the patient's blood there are lymphocytes and inside the lymphocytes they are carrying the gene which is responsible for the production of ADA enzyme. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.